Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. Um, I, I sincerely appreciate uh, Chairman Dutton's work to uh, make this bill better. Um, and uh, he spent a lot of time on this this afternoon. But it's still the bill that Mr. Sicklin has before us still fundamentally alters the 22 student per class class size limit that this state has had in effect since 1984. And we know, as Mr. Reynolds and Mr. Dutton were just discussing, that smaller class sizes are proven, demonstrated to improve student performance, to aid teachers in being able to better instruct and manage their classrooms. And this amendment fundamentally alters that. Furthermore, as, we, as I discussed earlier, this bill, while presented as an Arlington School District bill, is not an Arlington School District bill. This, this bill will affect hundreds of districts around this state. And if you look at the bill, and if you look at the amendment, there is nothing in there that limits it just to Arlington. And, and I'll repeat again, for the record, that the Arlington District, their top priority is public school finance reform, not trying to change class size limits in this legislative session. So I'm going to ask that members vote Speaker. no. Mr. Mr. Guerin, for what purpose? Would the gentleman yield for a question? Would the gentleman yield for a question? Mr. Turner, are you I saying that this is now a statewide bill? It is not an Arlington School District bill? That's absolutely right, Mr. Guerin. This is a statewide bill is what you're telling us. This is a statewide bill. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Chairman. Again, members, I'd ask you to vote no on this bill. Let's preserve our class size limits at 22 students classroom, K through 4. Thank you.